Okay, today's agenda, what I'd like to convey is the power of visualization. What's visualization? Do you have any idea? Visualize, right? In your mind, you image something, right? Visualize, visual. Visualization is the really important and the key factor for us to achieve goal, accomplish something, success, and also make dreams come true, right? The reason is, I think something, sometimes something hold you in the back is how you think, right? Because in order to realize goal, dream, whatever, accomplish something, success, you need to change always, right? If you are as you are, it's difficult. You cannot challenge. You cannot reach to the goal. You cannot come closer to the goal. In order to reach, in order to go closer to the goal, you need to change. Change means variety of meaning, development, improvement, behavior change, mindset change, intelligence improve, whatever, right? In order to change, in order to do such, in order to do, take action, you have strong ability as a human, right? You have ability to check Google. You have ability to read a book. You have ability to ask someone else. You have ability to research, investigate. You have ability to work somewhere, right? However, there is always a difficulty to challenge. There is always difficulty to smoothly move forward. Why? Why? Because, as I said, something holding you back is how to think. How you think means your mind. Always your mind will block you sometimes. Of course, there might be some external reason. Someone tried to block you, prevent your action. Or accidentally, it may be blocked by external reason. However, before that, most fundamental point is your mindset, right? If your mindset will block your action, nothing happens. You cannot move forward even one step, two steps ahead, right? That's why <clears throat> in order to change, in order to change your behavior, mindset, that's visualization is very, very important. So that today, what I'm going to talk, I'm going to share, I'm going to add words is really mission critical. Then please try by yourself. I think something will be different in the future. Not tomorrow, but it takes time, okay? Do you have a dream? Do you have a dream? Yamaru dream. What dream do you have? Dream can be goal. Dream can be what you want to be, uh, what you like to do, to do in the future, whatever. Do you have a dream? Yes. How many dreams do you have? Is that dream when you wake up you forget? You dreaming on the bed, right? Next morning you forget it? No such dream, right? In a sense, it's your goal, right? What you want to do, what you like to be in the future, that's your dream, okay? When you wake up, you forget, that's not dream. Are you preparing for it? how to prepare, how to plan to achieve that dream, realize dream. Are you ready for it? I touched on the visualization, it's a quite key word. And uh, today, 
in order to achieve your goal, in order to realize your goal, in order to create your career, uh, how to do it? I will share my experience. Right? I always uh, talk about something based on my experience. Otherwise, it's not realistic, right? Okay, today, <clears throat> I would like to touch you on the, how visualization is, in, how much important it is for you. But uh, before I start talking about it, I would like to touch on this. Mr. James Allen, one of very, very famous author, British Patho. Have you ever heard this name? No? Okay. Um, maybe not, yes. If you have time, you can Check by internet this name, James Allen. 19th centuries, one of the most famous author in UK. One of best known his uh, masterpiece is Other Man of Thinkers. Other Man of Thinkers. In this book, he said, thought in the mind has, has means has, it's old writing, okay? Thought in the mind has made us what we, by thought worth, wrote and built. Wrote is a, like a, using steel, like can, 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 it's a wrote, okay? If a man's mind has evil thought, pain comes on him, as comes the wheel, the ox, ox is a cow, right, behind, wheel is a big cart. If one endures impurity of salt, joy follows him, as his own shadow should. Somehow you can understand what he's saying, right? Put it simple, he is saying, if you are happy, it's from your mind. If you are unhappy, it's from your mind. If your mind is happy, feels happy, you yourself is happy, right? So that <clears throat> he saying success and happiness, such positive things, all of those are depending on your mindset, he is saying. Of course, if negative mindset you have, no success, no improvement, no development around you, he's saying. Sounds reasonable, I understand, we understand. However, looks like, sounds like spiritual and mentality and guts, something like that, right? Not scientific. Sounds like a monk is saying, right? Buddhism, okay? But, in a sense it's true, if your mind is good, happiness will come to you, you will be happy. Success will come to you, you will make success, okay? Please keep this in your mind right now. I will explain, detail it. Then, <clears throat> similar period, another famous American author, Napoleon Hill was there. Have you ever heard this name? Yes? yes. It's a quite a famous person. And he said, <clears throat> whatever the mind of a man can conceive and believe, it can be achieved. Means, if you really believe, if you really trust something, you can realize it, he said. If you can't believe, if you can't trust even one person, it will not be successful, he's saying. Right? The next, the starting point of all achievement is desire, passion, emotion, right? Keep this consistency in your mind, he said. Of course, 
When you eat something, you have desire, you are hungry, right? If you are interested in someone ready, you have desire, right? As a human. Or if you like, like to realize something, a big business, you have desire, that's why. Without desire, impossible, right? So, in other words, I say desire is your important motivation driver. Without desire, no good. However, don't misunderstand, desire has two types, positive desire, negative desire. Okay? If desire is negative, you may become a bad person. You may take action of criminal case, right? You may attack someone, right? You may love someone else, get money from them. It's negative desire. Positive desire, it's important, okay? Then, <clears throat> those two gentlemen, quite, I think, you know, they have a similarity. Always saying mindset and desire and heart is important for your action, success, practical result, they are saying, right? Similarity. But still, somehow, is that really true? Don't you feel so? Is that really true? Tricky. Today, is it spiritual training? No, practical training session, right? You're not joining spiritual training by me. I'm CEO of a company. I'm not spiritualist, and I'm not monk. I'm not a priest. I'm not talking about a spiritual matter, right? But those two gentlemen were quite reasonable. We understand. However, the person like us who are living in very, very scientific digital era, our feeling is that really true. Proof. That's our, you know, real feeling, isn't it? So, let's see. I found something. Uh, it will prove what they said. Okay? Before I touch on proof, I like to share my knowledge about our human brain, right? Many of you may know, because many of you has, all of you has brain. That's why everybody knows what it's like brain, right? Even if you are not a brain scientist, brain doctor, you know what it's like because you have brain. You know uniqueness, right? You have a similar experience, I think, which I'm going to introduce from now, okay? Do you know that our brain is prone to be deceived easily? In other words, you can lie to your brain quickly. Brain can be deceived easily. Do you understand this meaning? Somehow you can understand. Okay. <clears throat> Concretely say, brain has very uniqueness. One of uniqueness is, I think, brain always try to make you comfortable and the feeling good, satisfied. What is meaning? Let's see. There is a mountain, let's say big mountain. There is a goal. You like to reach to the goal, climbing up the mountain. This is your perception, then your object. Then you will start climbing up. 
then, however, reality is, mountain is not like this. Mountain is usually like this. Steep road, and there is a huge valley, and you need to climb up again. There may maybe big rock, right? And sometime on the way to the goal, rain may start, snow may start, you may feel cold, you may feel give up. But always, when you climb up, for example, first steep, you feel good, right? I done. First step I done. Okay? But uh, reality is far away. Reality is far away. If you see total distance, here still one third or one fourth. Reality is like this. You're, you know it. It's just the first step. But uh, your brain will give you comfortability, satisfaction after this first crime, isn't it? Practically speaking, actually, it's not goal yet, far away. But uh, your brain will give, oh, you done well. Then you did first try a good. Because brain is trying to make you think like this. That's why, as I said, brain tries to make you happy, comfortable, feels good. That is functionality and uniqueness. Try to think positive. There is a unique function, okay? Then, sometimes it happens. This gentleman, crime man, wow, darn it! Result is perfect. So, finish. Finish. In a sense, brain worked well. Other sense, brain didn't work well. Because real goal is here, right? But, uh, too much comfortability and the satisfaction was given to you, then sometimes you give up. Don't you have such experience? You have it, right? Saving money in your wallet, in the box, and the car. Uh, chin, 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 put it a coin, and it looks heavy. Wow, I done well. Open it. Actually, not much yet. It's a typical, right? So, as I said, brain can be deceived easily. That's why, as much as possible, clear goal, you need to have it in your brain. What is my goal? Where is my goal? What is the achievement? Without such clear definition, you may feel happy here because brain tries to make you happy. Let's see more. You guys are working in Africa. From 9 o'clock to 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, depending on person, time range is different. So generally speaking, from 9 to maybe 5, right? 6, 6. This is ruled, regulated, contracted with all employees. Then, main point is not to work this period, this time frame. Main point is to create performance. As long as you work in company, right? Not just spending time in company is not the main point, main value. Value is chasing performance during this time. It was nine hours, but Coming closer to 5.30, ooh, finally it's 5.30, comfortable, down well, physically tired. Don't you have such experience? Some of the people in the meeting, evening time meeting, I'm sitting in front of some people, some people checking watch. Checking smartphone, what time is it? Counting. But people misunderstand. 
performance itself actually 70%, but physical tiredness and the time spent was 100%, of course from 9 to 5 30 or 6 o'clock. That's why your brain gives you, oh, you done well, you tired, you must be hungry, you go home, have a beer. We have such experience, right? And then also, nowadays, <clears throat> if this much of performance you have, you need to achieve this much of performance by you, right? Then, if you finish from 9 to 1 o'clock, almost morning time, including lunch time, finish down, but you don't feel you go home. You feel guilty and bad. I need to stay, I need to stay because everybody working. Don't you? Brain is misunderstanding, right? Performance was completed. No need to feel guilty, right? Of course, spending spare time, you can find another job, another body, another performance. It's okay. Hmm. Brain can be deceived easily.